Hello everyone and welcome to another brand new episode of Draw with Rob. With me, Rob Biddulph. So I'm a children's author and illustrator. You might well know me for books like this one, Odd Dog Out. All about a sausage dog who doesn't fit in with the other sausage dogs. Maybe you've seen my other dog book. It's called Dog Gone, this one. This is my latest picture book. All about Teddy here who loses his human. And I've got another very exciting thing to tell you about. My first ever middle grade novel, which is out very soon. September the 2nd. It's called Peanut Jones and the Illustrated City, published by Macmillan. And look, loads of illustrations in there. Lots of stuff for you to enjoy. And it's a very nice little story, even if I do say so myself. But we are here today, as per usual, to do a drawing together. And this is a very special episode of Draw with Rob, isn't it? Because this da, 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 is our 100th episode. 100 episodes of Draw with Rob. Can you believe it? We started it way back in March of 2020 at the beginning of lockdown. Well, actually, we had... I'd done a couple of episodes of Draw With Rob before that, way back in 2017. They were slightly different in format, but that was when I first... That's when the term Draw With Rob first came into existence. But we started again back in March 2020 with this video here. Do you remember that? How many of you did this video with me? Gregosaurus, the very first lockdown draw with Rob drawing. Um, that was super fun. And look, here's some of the others, a little selection of some of the others we've done. We've done so many, wow. It's really nice to see all these drawings. And I know lots of you out there have done every single one of these with me. I've even, I've been out a couple of times during lockdown to do signings and a couple of events and I've met with a few of you. And I know some of you have brought along your folders um, full of the drawings that you've done to show me and that you've done every single one and there was one little boy I remember who I could say right which number was Puffin and he was a 47 he knew them all off by heart which was so amazing for me to see so this is video number 100 so I thought right what can we draw and I try to think of something cool to draw a really nice animal to draw and then I suddenly some an idea hit me what if I show you guys how to draw a really nice picture frame? Just the frame. We'll do a nice ornate picture frame. And then you can draw your favourite character or your favourite Draw With Rob character inside that frame. I thought that would be a nice idea. So what do you think? Should we do it? Let's do it. Right, so what you're going to need, just in case you haven't seen an episode of Draw With Rob before, this is how it works. A lot of people say to me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say, do you know what? Everyone can draw. Some people just might need a little bit of help with the order that we do the drawing in. And that's where I come in. So I am going to draw a shape on my piece of paper here. Very simple shape. Then you can pause the video and you just draw exactly what I have drawn. Start me up again and I will draw a little bit more. Pause me, you draw. Start me up, I draw. Pause me, you draw. I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end, we're going to end up with a lovely picture of a picture frame. And then, if you like, you can go and have a look at another Draw With Rob video and draw that inside your picture frame. So it's kind of like two for the price of one, isn't it, today? So you're going to need a piece of paper. You're going to need a pen or a pencil. Um, you might want something to colour with a bit later on. It's up to you. And that's it. We're ready to go. So shall we start? our 100th episode of Draw With Rob. I still can't believe it, 100 episodes. Right, let's do it. We are going to start our picture frame. You won't be surprised to hear. We are gonna start by drawing. We need to leave a bit of space at the top and the bottom, maybe a couple of inches or so, but I want you to draw a square. Okay, so there we go, horizontal, vertical. I'm gonna leave about the same space at the top. Horizontal, like that and then a vertical. Now, don't worry if your square is not perfect, if your lines aren't perfectly straight. As you can see here, mine certainly aren't. 
I really like it when you can see all these little imperfections here because it makes it look like it's an actual drawing and it hasn't been done by a robot or a computer. So I really like that. If your lines are wobbly or they're not quite straight, don't you worry about it, I promise you, it's those imperfections that add personality to your picture. So just keep on drawing, okay? Right, now, I want you to draw just outside that another square. We're gonna leave maybe a centimeter, a centimeter and a half, something like that. So a bit of a gap. And we're gonna just follow it around like that. And this is gonna be the first part of our picture frame. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna go along there. I'm gonna try not to smudge. Good luck with that, Rob. I always smudge, don't I? You guys know. You guys know. Okay, see, there you go. Smudge. Told you. Straight away. No messing. <laughs> right. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a slightly thinner pen. Don't worry if you haven't got a thinner pen. Just press a little bit lighter with your pencil or whatever you're using to draw. And I am now going to draw some diagonal lines that go from each corner to the other corner. So from the inside corner, outside corner. Inside corner, outside corner. Inside corner, outside corner. Starting to really look like a little picture frame now, isn't it? Now this is where I'm gonna show you something really, really quite cool. We're gonna draw another square. I'm gonna keep my thin pen. We're gonna draw another square right in the middle of those two. So I'm gonna start from that diagonal line there and I'm gonna draw this line up there, okay? Then let's go across the top like that and then we go down this side right in the middle nice wobbly line there <laughs> then let's go across the bottom so basically what we've drawn is three squares one two three and four diagonal lines and we've pretty much got a really nice picture frame basic picture frame shape now when we come to coloring in I'm gonna show you something really cool, really easy to do to make it look a bit more kind of 3D. It's a really good trick to know. But before we get to the coloring in, we need to draw the rest of our frame because this is just the start. This is just the inside part of our frame because I thought we should make it nice and elaborate. So what we're going to do is, I want you to imagine that in the corner here, we're gonna draw a circle in the corner like that, but we are gonna stop there and there. So it's not gonna be a complete circle. It's gonna be three quarters of a circle like this round like that so we're going to leave a gap between two sides okay of between two sides makes sense rob we're going to leave a gap underneath there and off to the side there okay and we're going to do that in all four corners so sort of a bit of a circle there Ooh. bit of a circle there bit of a circle there Okay, then we're gonna do two smaller curves in each corner, like that. Smaller curve there, smaller curve there. Small curve there, smaller curve there. A small curve there, and a small one there. Okay, then in the middle, of this left hand side of our frame, I want you to draw one, two, three. So a similar sort of leafy flowery pattern. And we're gonna do one of them again with this picture frame, it's kind of symmetrical all the way around. So we're gonna do that on each side. One, two, three. So a bigger bump in the middle. One, two, three, okay. Then, very simply, we're gonna join the gaps. Join it up, like a bit like a dot to dot puzzle. Like that. And we're starting to draw the sort of gilt edge to our frame. The sort of elaborate design of our picture frame. So it's gonna be a very fancy picture frame, this one. One that you could hang up in an art gallery. Looking pretty good so far. Now. To be honest, at this point, I think if you want to, you can go off and do your own thing to a certain extent, but I'm gonna show you some little patterny ideas. So I think this looks a bit sort of flowery to me. So I'm gonna draw a little flower design in each corner. So I'm gonna start with the circle. I'm just gonna add 
them little petals like that. I'm going to do that in each corner. Now my picked frame I think is going to be gold. So everything is going to be sort of coloured, yellowy, goldy in colour. Okay. So, but you guys can do total multicoloured frames here. So when you're drawing your little decorations and embellishments, you could also be thinking about what colours you could paint all the stuff. Now, I'm going to draw. What should we do now? Let's just see. I'm just going to make it up as I go along. Let's draw in this little space just a few little circles here. We'll do some here. But remember, whatever you do, make sure you do the same in each corner, in each area of your picture frame, so that it's all the same all the way around. Because when you finish, that will make it look really, kind of, it'll tie the whole thing together and make it look really smart. So now, let's add some more detail. I'm just gonna add some sort of circles and dots as a decoration around each bit. And I'm doing the same thing in each corner each time so that I because if I just did concentrated fully on one corner I might forget everything that I've done so by doing each corner doing each step in each corner you sort of remember what you do but as I said don't worry if you're not doing exactly the same as me just go for it decorate your frame however you want it's looking pretty cool isn't it um do you know what? You don't need to watch me do all of these different aspects. I might go into fast forward mode to finish decorating my frame um, and then we will reconvene maybe in about 10 seconds or so when I've filled all of these kind of gilt edges of my frame with lots of detail. How does that sound? Yeah, and then you can do whatever you like to and then we'll reconvene at the end of that. Yes? Okay, let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so there we go. I filled up most of the spaces with the little squares and patterns and stars and dots and a couple of sort of rainbow shapes and things going on. But I think I still need to add a few more bits and pieces. So why not, outside the edge of your frame now, just add some more detail. So I'm gonna add a couple, I like those little rainbow shapes. So I'm gonna add some more little rainbow shapes in these gaps here. And, um, yeah, maybe a few other bits and bobs. So I tell you what, shall I go into super speed mode yet again for the second time? Yeah? Okay, see you in a minute. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so there we go. We've added lots of little details. I like it when you see those picture frames that are sort of got, got they're made of, they're sort of all gold, but they've got little bits of leaf and sort of, you know, foliage and, stuff made out of gold so I've added some little leafy bits and some little nodgy bits here lots of little detail so it looks really like quite a grand picture frame doesn't it so now I'm doing lots of super speed drawing today aren't I and I'm gonna do some more now because I'm gonna color in my picture frame okay as I said mine is going to be in sort of golds maybe a couple of bits of browns here and there, but I'm going for quite a sort of traditional gold gilt kind of picture frame like you see, might see in an art gallery. But as I said, go for it with yours. Multicolored is really good. In fact, it would work really well, wouldn't it, in rainbow colors, this particular picture frame. And I don't know what you've drawn. You might have added lots of other little details around yours. And hopefully you've got lots of little bits to color in. So off you go, have a nice time coloring in, and I will see you back here with a colored in picture frame in 30 seconds or so, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so there is my colored in frame. What do you think, see what I mean? I've made it all gold. Lots of little shades of gold and yellows and oranges and browns, a bit of brown in there, here and there, but I wanted it all to feel kind of gilted. See, uh, gilded, sorry, not gilted. Gilt, gilded. That's it, Rob, come on, get your words right. You're meant to be a writer. Um, <laughs> so I'm quite pleased with that. But now, of course, we have this great big space in the middle to draw a picture in. So what do you want to do? 
you have got 100 videos, more than 100 videos to choose from, you could now pause this one and open another one and do one of my drawings in the middle here and then sort of, you know, bring the two, two Draw With Rob episodes together. I, I think there's only one character that I can draw in this 100th episode of Draw With Rob. I have to draw Gregosaurus, don't I? From the very, very first episode. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Guess what? I'm gonna go into super speed mode to do it. Here we go. <laughs> I'll see you back here in another 10 seconds or so. Okay, bye-bye. There we go. There is my artwork within an artwork. Gregosaurus in our lovely picture frame. Now you can add a bit of background color if you like in. I'm just gonna add a little bit of kind of rough shading behind the whole picture. You can see I'm just doing this very kind of lightly. Lots of gaps. You don't need to color it too precisely. Just roughly to give a suggestion of color behind that picture to make it look different from this white area see so it looks like a kind of picture within that frame there we go my Gregosaurus do you know what there's something very very nice very sort of circular we come full circle haven't we from video number one Gregosaurus to video number 100 another picture of Gregosaurus in a picture frame and it's very appropriate I think that we have drawn a picture frame that you might find in an art gallery because every single one of you who does these draw alongs with me, you are all artists and you are all fantastic artists. Every single picture that I've seen that you sent me, I've absolutely loved. And you guys, you know what? You should be very, very proud of yourself for all this beautiful artwork that you guys have created. Speaking of creating artwork, we need to let everyone know who has created these artworks. So you need to sign your picture, don't you? I'm gonna write my full name. It's the 100th episode, why not? And I'm gonna do it in my picture within a picture. And there we go. Oh, I like this, I'm super proud of my picture. Now, what you can do, you could put your, fit, your picture of a picture frame inside a picture frame. That would be weird, wouldn't it? A frame within a frame. <laughs> that, would be, that would be quite strange. So there we go, 100 episodes, can you believe it? So, what I would like you to do now is, get your grown-up to take a picture of your picture within a picture and um, post it. If they post it on social media, where can I put the little social media hashtag? We'll put it here, we'll fit it in very small there. Post it using the draw with Rob hashtag on social media, that way I will get to see your drawings and of course I cannot wait to see your drawings this week because I'm hoping for lots and lots of different middle elements and maybe sort of a greatest hits collection of Draw With Rob episodes. So maybe some of you will draw the peacock. Some of you might draw Teddy the pug from my book Dog Gone. Some of you might draw, I don't know, the dragon or the rocket ship or the pirate ship or the train or the eagle or Nancy or the footballing panda, the unicorn, the puffer fish. There's so many to choose from, aren't there? And I have enjoyed doing every single one of these with you. Now, you might have seen my announcement earlier in the week, Draw With Rob, I always said we would get to 100 um, and then maybe stop, but do you know what, I've decided I'm not gonna stop. Now they might not appear every single week from now on because my live touring schedule is starting up again so I don't have quite as much time. So you might have to wait a few weeks between videos. Um, and so the best thing for you to do, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on because that way you'll get told when a new video um, drops. Um, or you could, well, follow me on social media. I'm at Rob Bidolf on Twitter. I'm at R Bidolf on Instagram. I'm Rob Bidolf author on Facebook. I will keep you updated when a new video comes out there. But a really cool thing to do and a brand new thing to do is subscribe to my official newsletter. Okay, so if you go to robbidolf.com forward slash news, you will see an orange box where you type in your email address and your name or your parents can type in their email address. Um, and that way you will get sent an email whenever a new Draw With Rob video comes out. Or in fact, whenever there's any Rob Bidolf news. So there might be news of live events or new books or who knows, maybe even some merch. Um, uh, so that's a really good way to kind of keep up to date with what's going on. 
So listen, I have loved, loved, loved showing you how to draw this picture frame and I've loved drawing Gregosaurus again, just like I did right back at the beginning. It's been a lovely thing to do for the 100th video. I want you all to keep drawing, keep those pencils sharpened, take care of yourselves, and I will see you again very soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. Just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am again popping up at the end of your video and I'm here to tell you all about the brand new Draw With Rob activity book. It's called Draw With Rob Monster Madness. And I think you're really gonna like it. I mean, of course, inside you are going to meet him, her, don't forget about him. And of course, my favorite, her. So listen, this book is full of puzzles. Um, it's got lots of things where I've started off the drawing and you guys need to finish it off. We have got mix and match monster games in there. We've even got like a monster party invite kit for you to use for your own monster parties. As well as that, we've also packed it full of the regular drawer alongs, all of which you get a little picture frame you can do your drawing in and there's perforated edges for you to tear the pages out, stick them up on your fridge or send them out to your relatives. And then of course, once you finish the book, you qualify for this exclusive monster artist certificate that you get to fill in, frame it and put it up on your wall. Now this book I think is perfect for any little monsters out there. And guess what? It's out now. You can get it right now from wherever you get your books. So go and have a look online or better still visit your local bookshop. Right, I'm gonna go now properly. Let you get on with your day. Thanks so much for drawing along with me. Don't forget, check out this book and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.